All right, everyone, we have Strictly Strength Monday afternoon. Let's get after this. Start your tracking device if you um, have one. Also, along with virgin pulse points, okay? Track it up, get your pulse points. All right, so I have off to the side a set of fives and a set of tens, and um, we'll be doing three blocks of work. Get yourself some water, a mat, and that's it. Let's start with our warm up here. All right, let's do a little swivel around for our hips to a squat alternating. Up and around. Other side. So sinking it low into your squat, warming up your ankles, your knees, your hips. Again, if you haven't started your tracking devices, do it now. Log your pulse points, or get your pulse points, I should say. Mark virgin pulse. Okay, one more each side. Stay low into your squat, and we have reverse flies. So back stays long here. Belly button in toward your spine. We have a fun workout today. The first two exercises are gonna be 40 seconds, and then we have a 30 second push. So we do three blocks of work, three times. Two more. Last one. Let's give ourselves some knee hugs. Alternating little uh, tug at the top, opening up through our hips. I'm gonna have to start angling out here. <laughs> Balance, tall posture. Doing good. Okay, we have one more each side. Let's get in some reverse lunges. Stepping back, together, alternating, alternating. All right, let's add some arm work up and around and down. Good. We have about one minute left of our warm up here. And one more each. Hammies, let's wake them up, hinging forward, up and around with your arms, same thing, other side. Now, our first block of work, you're going to grab one. I'm going to be using a 10 pound, but you can certainly use a 15 or a 20. Ooh, hammies are a little tight today. Let's do one more each. Last one. Okay, here we go. Grab just one dumbbell, and we start with a squat to a rotation. Rack it up to your chest, feet a little bit wider than your hips, sink down, pull and twist. Alternating down, pull and twist. We go in three, two. Let's roll down and up. So again, we go for 40 seconds alternating. Weight stays to your chest. Your standing leg. Make sure your kneecap is darting straight forward. It's just a torso rotation. Sumo squats coming up next. Three, two, one. Hang it low. Turn your feet out. Down and up. Down and up. Now this is our last 40 second exercise. Then we go into our more of endurance for our legs. For 30 seconds, we have dumbbell swings. But we'll call the 30 second one endurance. 15 seconds, tall posture. Then you're gonna hold on to the handle of your dumbbell. Last three, two, one. Switch up the grip, here we go. 30 seconds here. So all momentum. 
down through your legs, glutes, hamstrings, quads. We're not using upper body to lift. You get a 15 quick transition, grab the other dumbbell. So you have two. Forward to reverse lunge. So forward, reverse, together, alternating. Here we go in three, two, and go. So again, alternating legs. Woo! Getting the heart rate up. Next up, we have a squat to a curl, bicep curl. And then our endurance push is gonna be for our biceps. Whew. Keep going, you have three, two, one. Feet parallel, squat to a curl. Squat, curl. More of our hammerhead style curl, opening up through your shoulders. Do a side view. One more block coming up next. Feet are hip distance apart and parallel. Five. Steps alternating, single arm. Burn it out. Whew. Little bend to your knees. Tall posture. How many curls can you get in? Then we'll have a quick 15 second transition. You're gonna grab your lighter dumbbells. In three, two, one. Who set them down? You have your threes, fives, or eights. Lateral lunge to a fly, alternating. Lateral lunge, fly, alternating. Okay, let's go. Down, lift. So you're getting that hip hinge. One leg stays straight. Another option here is a side Squat. Gives you a little bit more stability with your hips and your pelvis. So that's probably a better option for me. So that's what I'm going to do. 10 seconds. Then we go into L raises. So a little bit more upper body on this last block. Three, two, one. L raises up and down. So one arm comes out to the side, one goes forward. If you want to add challenge, add a hip flexion at the top. Again, I'm going to keep both feet down, keep my hips stable. Awesome. Now, our endurance push is goal post pulses. So we're going to light up your biceps, your triceps, pecs, deltoids. Two, one, lift and hold here, pulse. Okay, so railroad track position. Move around as needed. Draw your shoulders down. Halfway there, keep it up, elbows high. You got this, you got this, don't give up. Home stretch, five. Two and one. You have 40 seconds off. Nice work, everyone. Grab a drink of water. We get to do this two more times. Did you notice how I said we get to do this? Not we have to. Okay, brain quiz. First exercise. What do we grab? Our one medium to heavy dumbbell. 
rotation. Now I feel like I'm always harping on this, but fitness is not only about the muscles in our physical body, but also in our brain. Okay, here we go. Squat, pull and twist. So that's why classes like more of like cardio um, choreographed movements are great for your brain. So think of step classes, Zumba. But this is great as well. So we are getting choreographed movements in here. Next up, sumo squats. Three, two, one, turn your feet out, down and up. Down and up. Now I probably could push myself a little bit more, grab a 15 or a 20, but listen to your body, do what's best for you. Now from the side, I'm slightly sinking my hips back just a little bit. We got inner thighs. Dumbbell swings are next. Five, three, two, one. Handle of your dumbbell, let's go. Let's get our heart rates up, cardio. Squeeze your glutes like crazy at the top. And if you want even more challenge, bring your arms up above your head. Watch your alignment. We're not hinging from our hips. Three, two, one. Rest. Grab your other dumbbell. Forward to reverse lunge. Tall posture. Take a deep breath. Here we go in three, two. Let's go. Forward, reverse, together. Alternating. If the forward motion doesn't work for you, try just sticking with alternating reverse lunges. Good. All right, gang, you have 15 seconds. Then we go into squat to a bicep curl. Heavy breathing, that's what we do. And here we go. Squat, curl. So this one, you are sinking your hips back as if you're sitting back into a chair. Alternating bicep curls coming up next. Use your exhale at the top. You got it. Five. Three. Two. Let's go. Alternating. Okay. Go to your happy place. It's not burning. Tell yourself it's not burning. You can do it. Seconds. Then you're gonna grab your fives. Three, two, one, switch. All right, last block. Lateral lunge to a fly. We're gonna stick to one side this time. Step it out with your left. Step it out with your left. And here we go. Out, lift, together. So third round. We'll do the other side. We're gonna, I'm also doing a modification here. We're into a side squat. Back muscles, deltoids. And of course, low body. L raises are next in five. 
Here we go. Lift it up and down again. More challenge. Hip flexion alternating. Just gets your heart rate up a little bit higher. And again, adds a little bit more choreography. So again, one arm goes directly up from the shoulder and then out to the side. 15 seconds. Then we have our goal post, post, goal post pulses. That's a mouthful. Okay, here we go. Lift, pulse it here. Give your forearms a little break. Again, move around as needed. 15 seconds. Make sure that you're not pushing your hips forward. Again, tall posture. Five, three, two, one. You get a rest. Awesome job. Okay. Third round. Third round. This is it. Whew. Squat to rotation. Grab just one dumbbell. You have about 20 seconds off. Keep moving around. Grab a sip of water. Okay, you have 10 seconds. Start to wrap the weight up to your chest. Take a deep breath, squat to rotation, and go. Down and twist. So you're driving your knee straight up and rotating through your torso, not your hips. Your hips stay completely stable. Sumo squats coming up on deck. Seconds. Guess what? We're not doing this one again. That's it. Five. Here we go. Turn it out. Down and up. Sumo. Knees in line with your toes. Think about your quadriceps wrapping around your femur bone and pulling straight up, especially as you lengthen your legs. We're also getting to the lateral rotators of your hip socket and your joints, and your muscles. 10 seconds. Dumbbell swings. Sink it low. You got three, two, one. Switch your grip. Let's go. So legs turn a little bit more parallel. I come back up, I tend to slightly nod my chin in toward my chest. Helps to take any pressure out of the back of your neck. Five, three, two, one. Rest, you get 15 off. Grab your other medium to heavy. Forward reverse lunge. <sighs> Here we go in three. Two, and go. Now again, remember your options. You can always do just the reverse lunges. And again, having me personally more weight in the front of my, my body due to pregnancy, I'm decreasing my range of motion a little bit in order to slow it down and make sure that I'm getting enough stability through my hips. Squat to curl. In three, two, one. Feet hip distance, let's go down and up. So in that modification, anyone can take that, right? Do what's best for your body. Last set of curl with squat. Yeah. 
Are we utilizing our glutes? Squeeze. Squeeze your biceps. Five seconds. Alternating single arm and go. Oh, this last round is a beast. Let's go. Come on. I'm here to push you. 15 seconds. And we swap out our dumbbells. Home stretch. Three, two, one. Done with that. We are done with our medium to heavy. All right, swap it out. Lighter weights. This time, step out to your right. Step out to your right. In three, two, last set. Down, lift, together. Per usual, momentum is not our friend. Active lift with your upper body. We're not swinging. We're actively engaging our back muscles, our deltoids. Sink low into your squat. L raises, coming up next in five. Okay, last set, lift and lower. And again, more challenge, alternating hip flexion. So if you're driving your knee up, drive it straight up to the ceiling. Try not to bring it out to the side. Use your exhale to lift, inhale lower. Give you a side view here. Arms are burning. Five seconds, goal post pulses, this is it. And lift and go. If you want a little bit more challenge for your legs, sink it down into your squat. Keep breathing. Like I said, this is your home stretch. Keep pushing, you're almost there. Oi, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. You made it, you are done. Awesome job. Grab a quick drink of water and let's cool you down. Okay, let's do a little shoulder rolls. I'm gonna turn around to the back here. A little back scratcher, if you can. Almost thinking about driving your fingertips together. If you can touch, great. If not, that's okay too. Windmill around. Same thing, other side. I'm definitely tight on this side. <laughs> and windmill around. This is also a great stretch for your triceps and your lats. And again, last windmill. So lowering our heart rates back down. And release, let's do our hamstring stretch. Same one that we started with, down, up and around, and alternating. So awesome to see you all online. Again, this is a hybrid class. So, pre-register online because space is limited. Now we can see you in person. Last one. Find your balance, stretching your quads, grabbing one foot, opening up through your shoulder, hold it here. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Holding it here. Okay, go ahead and release. Let's give your inner thighs some love. Elbows to your knees, sink it low. Just opening up. Bring your hands up to your thighs. Let's add in a little rotation. 
putting some pressure kind of into the inside of your knees, separating them just a little bit more. Let's do one more each side. And release, lastly, hands back behind your head. Just nod your chin in toward your chest, hold it here. Stretching the back of your neck. And now go ahead and release. Awesome work today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Strictly Strength. We will see you next time.